show. Yeah, of course. We had 1,286 of them now, Jonathan, or some. Jonathan, look, Jerry's cupcakes. There's only three left. Are they there? There they are. Jerry got our asteroids. And he told me that I was the only one to have these. Thank you, Jerry. Mm. And they're delightful. Especially with coffee. The original opening is right here in that video. Listen, I wanted to tell you, Sharon got her Black Knight, and she sent a picture of it. Here we are in her game room. She's thrilled. Well, of course, it's a TNT game. Also, Michael bought a flyer off of Greed Bay. We have, we always have six or seven hundred auctions up. We also sell stuff directly from our website. Our checks hockey. I requested my card. There we are. If you want a signed card, you just send an email to this address. And I will send you one if I feel like it. Oh, Neil and his family, Jonathan, Neil and his family went to Silver Bowl Museum in Florida. Ha ha! We love that place. I haven't been to that one yet. I've been to the one in Asbury Park, New Jersey. But look what he's holding. That's me. Do you see that? There it is, real big. That's my card. I'm in Florida, Jonathan. Hmm. I'm everywhere. Oh, and lastly, Paul uh, sent a picture of him watching his favorite video, my dual pin bots, my two pin bot machines going out at the same time video. Isn't that great? We have to do English Mark darts, but first, I wanted to show you, we, we're going to do a regular video on this one, this sells, but look at this. This is a very rare Turbo Outrun dedicated super mini cockpit. For small people. It is a small one. And Will just barely fits in it. Do you see how he has to fold his legs to get in there? I can fit in. I'm short. Well, yeah, <laughs> but and you're short and fat. So this is even. I'm like Waluigi and Freddy Mario. I don't think I could fit in there. But anyway, this thing, we're going to. Somebody requested it to an as is or a cleaned up price. That's a beautiful picture. It features the stereo sound here. And then there's a woofer in the bottom. A woofer? In the bottom, yes. Here, and then hit the start. Get ready. Gorgeous picture, 7,000 chassis. So we're gonna see if he wants to buy this. Now, we're gonna have to change it. Somebody, looks like they painted. <laughs> this top is supposed to be clear, or uh, dark blackout. I don't know. This is, things change. So it's custom. Customized. It's unique. Game in the future. And look at him, that boy is flying along. Now, there's no motor. So these turbo outruns don't have a motor to shake it. So, just to make it a little cheaper. But this may be available if the guy doesn't buy it. I love that song, don't you? But you know what? I'm going to have a copyright problem. Yep. Took it's your video copyrighted. down. It's copyrighted. The robot's got you. Here, come mm -hmm. back here. English Mark Darts. You've never seen one. Jonathan is going to explain how to play it. Jonathan! The famous Arachnid English Mark Darts. This is one of the first units out there to, for commercial use. Notice there's no television set in it. None. It, does, it achieves everything by way of light bulbs, okay, and your dashboard here. And for people that are not in the know, this is where you line your quarters up. See, Jonathan, when you were, you know, in the know, you put your quarter there, and it's ready to drop in because you only had so many seconds to drop it in. We've not bought. We now have the free play button cleverly. So we've wired it here in case the customer would like to hook it back up. This is in beautiful condition. Uh, we're also including where's the car. We have 
Jonathan and I are going to play. So we have a, a set of, of four colors, extra screw-in dart tips, so it makes it easy. Jonathan, uh, would you care to program it for, for We're playing the amateur baseball. You wait, you remove the darts, and now you wait, and now you just throw darts. Jonathan has an unlimited time to throw darts into the computer. Can we throw them at you? It would be a lot more fun. It doesn't have a sharp point on it. Uh, I can get it this way. You think you could? You think you, you, think you have the it. arm power? Look at these skinny little arms. Ooh. Yeah. He was good. One day I'm going to beat him to a pulp. Pulp. What? You didn't hit anything? I hit one. Oh, oh, oh. Baseball. Okay, you have to hit one. Here we go. Good. Womp womp. Oh, I hit 18. Womp womp. I hit 18. So I've thrown the darts. Every poor way. I guess I didn't get credit for that. Another one. Now I just did you. Put the stick in the board. Stick in the board. I got one to say. I haven't thrown a dart in years. Okay, go ahead, Jonathan. Ugh. Yeah. Oh. Come on, you got the one. Let me you show got you. two ones. Let me show you out. Don't you have to throw a third yeah. one? Well, the one didn't register. Oh, you played three. Well, I hit this credit button a couple times, so we probably played three. Oh, what should I hit, Giant? One. Should I hit the one? One? The ones playing baseball. Yeah, come closer with this. Ah, come on. Get me to zoom in here. I hit it. Yeah, it's just a just bite. It's, it's on camera. Rock. You can't even try it. Now, look. See right here? Player change touch. And that tells the computing system inside. To move on to the next episode. Now, what are you aiming for? Still one, because it's four players. No. Oh, we'll put four players. Uh, what? My you? turn. But you just took a turn. No, I, I threw his last arc. What about my turn? All right. Oh, very nice. You got it. Oh. Oh, oh. very nice. It still thinks it's on the second guard. Mm -hmm. I think on later models, they put a microphone in it, didn't they? And then the microphone picks up if the dart hits the board and, that, and falls out, right? They're aiming for twos, I think. Twos, okay. Should be. Sure you want to step a little closer? Am I, shooting, am I too far away? Do I need to get closer? Yeah. Look, I won! <laughs> nice grouping. <laughs> it's a stupid game. Here, while they're darting, come back here. There's easy access to the dartboard with these wing nuts, so you can get into the back and service it, okay? On off switches up here. Oh, you know what? There is a, oh, that's the socket for the light if you want to put a light. And you know what? There's a, uh, is that a test button? A reset? Oh, I'm oh. sorry. I turned it off. Oh. I said playing. Oh, oh. <laughs> I missed. Oh. I, I thought that was the microphone. I, Listen, I have something to tell you about this fuse. <laughs> when we first got the game in, this is what Scott uncovered. Oh, what's this little contraption here? Well, if you were observant, even in the least, you would know that this is a bypass o -matic. It gets rid of that annoying, stupid fuse. Now, this is sort of like putting a penny in the old screw fuse turn box. It's a great just, idea. Just change the fuse. Now, yeah, that takes time. Probably less time than that took. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he, he went all out there. Let's see. No, no, he just, he just went yeah. some, some solder. In yeah, it's a great idea. It works. It worked. He used small enough gauge wire. He figured the wire would catch on fire before the... <laughs> oh. Wasn't that amazing, Scotty? 
but look how clean this is. Everything on one simple circuit board for easy service. And what they did here, you only have to take two Phillips screws out and it lifts right out of the machine. Very simple to take out if you need to do service. The thing is really nice, isn't it? I think our customers can be very happy, don't you? Especially since I cleaned it and painted it. You cleaned it and you painted it? Look, he's working on police trainer. Okay. Cleaning the police. Oh, and Jeannie, we just finished. Oh, we're going to do a video on that soon. That'll be soon. Look, this is coming. Solar fire. Some exciting, wonderful thing. And then look at tournament NBA jam. No, go ahead. It's got new artwork on and uh, a fun house. Um, there's a fun house over there. Oh, a centipede. Oh, one of our regular customers ordered a centipede and a missile command. So we're going to be doing them soon. And then this Chex is going to New York. Brooklyn, I think. Pretty far near Connecticut. Oh, no, 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 Poughkeepsie. And guess what's coming this coming week? This video should be up. The, okay. the pinball show I'll be going to. Kids are going to go nuts meeting me. Do you know when people meet me? Do you know what they usually do? What's the first thing out of their mouth when they meet me? Oh, God. <laughs> Okay. No, it's usually their dinner. <laughs> I don't think he understood that. Did you see the wheels spinning? <sighs> nice. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Anyway, let, we're, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to cut to some footage we took yesterday of a pair of, pe pair of imbeciles that picked up are those horrible, remember those horrible mechanical machines? Whew. Here we go. Jonathan, how did, how did you get this stuff in here? Crowbar. Oh gosh. Well, John and Caroline have come up to pick up four of the mechanical pimbles we had on special in my latest bargain basement. Now the question is, what are you gonna do with this load of garbage games? These games, I mean, they're, they're perfect working condition, right? Well, let's put it this way every single one of these machines worked at one time. <laughs> that, that's fair, maybe enough. 30 years ago. But... I, you know, I think I remember, wait a minute, I remember what the guy said. The guy said they worked perfect, but he thinks there's a loose screw in one and there's a bowl blown out of another. <laughs> I th we think Can we get our money back. Uh, yeah. Well, here, let's try. Here, let's see. He has, he has the loot. A thousand bucks. Look at this. Sure. Wow. There's a thousand dollars. Now, the you get the is, brake light warranty. Okay, huh? now, the warranty lasts until this gets into my pocket. <laughs> Gone. Warranty's over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Feel look free. Now, look, look, John. Look, look. John, probably put this up. Wait a minute. Where are you going to ride? Oh, you're driving. She's driving. Yeah, yeah. He's still waking up, guys. I got confused because yes, Showboat, that's coffee. Showboat is on the... Now, how many places in the world right now is there a Showboat head on the passenger seat of the family car? <laughs> I bet we got the only one. The only one. And you got everything packed in here. Yeah, the guys did a great job. Four machines. Yeah, a couple broken windows. And uh. <laughs> <coughs> Now, do you see what you're missing? You should be here spending money. Now, I can buy that Lexus for my daughter. <laughs> Payment on the Lexus. Uh, she I'm, wants us. We're going to go play some free games. Yeah, you know what? We got no more money. I'll tell you what we do. <laughs> Two dollar money. If you come and buy some of this car, it's games from us. <laughs> if you come and buy games, you're allowed to play in the showroom for free. But just for an hour. <laughs> One hour. Now, isn't this great? Caroline is interested in pinball. We desperately need more women in pinball. Desperately. I'm, I'm happy gonna, to be a pioneer in the field. She's going to help the store. Well, Jonathan's daughter, Haley, has vowed to work here. Right, Jonathan? <laughs> uh -huh. She's only four. Three. Going to be Three. four. Oh. So we told her she could start That's a work. Good age. Well, you don't have to pay. We, we have it. We have the, the. You have to be at least six. Uh, <laughs> So she could hold a screwdriver. Uh, and a hot iron, too. Well, I'll tell you what, you go in and play in the showroom, and Jonathan and I are going to look at this Arcade Legends. Okay. So we'll see you up front. That's good. Fun. They're off. Good, we got rid of that garbage. I'm just kidding. 
It was a great deal. Jonathan, wasn't that a great deal? Four machines for a thousand bucks. It was a bargain. I thought so. Now, in here. This is one of the of course, we're a distributor. We're one of the few distributors in the world for the Chicago Gaming Corporation. We've been licensed for almost a hundred years to sell their machines. A hundred years. Right, Jonathan? Yeah. One thing I do like about the LCD monitors is that the cabinets are so much lighter. Lighter, you know, I, uh, light. Uh, now, a man is sending a truck to pick this thing up. Now, you have to do something on these games. On every single brand new Arcade Legends 3, you have to, see, the, the control panel is held down by these two, these two screws. You have to disconnect the reset. There's a two-wire reset uh, a wire uh, a switch. Untake it out of the box and then move it down here. There it is right there. So Jonathan moved this earlier, right? Yep. So we, we attached it here. This is the button that was in the computer. We extended the wires and when you push this button, you have to wait for it to get in there. You have to wait. It resets the computer. Now here's what happens. One out of a hundred times you turn this on, it doesn't start. And it requires you to push this button. And we know this happens with a lot of these computers because these little two-wire push buttons are in the backs of a lot of the machines now. So let's suppose we had no picture. Just by pressing that button, it reboots, it. It reboots the whole computer. Now by you doing that, that one out of a hundred times right before your party is about to start, you don't have to take the two screws out and push the button. Now all the games we sell, we move that wire. Nice, nice, neat and professional, that reset. And that's the only glitch with this machine, right Jonathan? Mm-hmm. Yes. The only problem we've ever had, and we've sold dozens and dozens of them. Here's our owner's manual, the documentation to mail. If you want to register it, most people don't. But it explains everything you need to know. Beautiful game. We really like this game. Plus, it's so much more compact. Ta -da. <sighs> oh gosh, Jonathan, I'm exhausted already. It's pooped. Pooped. Well, I guess it's best we go back to the shop and see how they're coping next door. Maybe they'll buy some more games. I don't think there's any more room in their car. Oh, they can come back. Another bargain basement. We're going to have a big one. Got all those cocktail tables. I gotta get them off the rack, Jonathan. Or you Kurt? have to get them off the rack. Kurt? We're gonna have a cocktail table, a go go bonanza. Well, they took themselves on the 50 cent tour, and look, they decided you're gonna get a Batman instead of the, uh, of the mechanicals, right? We did? You're just gonna pay the extra. Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. no problem. Should we give it we to them for over. free? No, this will not be, this will not be on a bargain basement this year. Look, the TV set. Did you see that? The TV set That's with amazing. the channel selector. See? That is amazing. Uh, isn't that neat? Yeah. A far cry, but you like the mechanicals like because them. the beauty of a mechanical pinball is that no matter what's wrong with it, outside of a burned up coil, you have a 99% chance of fixing the problem without anything but a fiberglass eraser, which mm -hmm. I was telling them about, which you can buy from the eraser company, and they're also on Amazon. So That's you buy a little fiberglass eraser. I showed them what they were. Here's what it looks like. There it is. Okay. So now, now everybody knows what it looks like. A fiberglass eraser from the eraser company. Very and good. A mechanic's dream. <laughs> Hopefully we won't have to use it too I much. I think it's time we get rid of these people. <laughs> Now here, here's how I do it. I have an easy way to get rid of you. Watch. Watch, watch this. There we go. See? See? I, I learned that from Bewitched. Oh no! It is just... <laughs> well... Ruined. Oh, Jonathan, how come that gag never works? Mm. Oh, Jonathan. Uh... Uh... What a great game this is.
Yes, but just barely comfortable. What should we do? Simulation. This was PMP Marketing's really big game. Made a lot of money. Everybody loved it. And it was very, very clever. A whole design. Shoot out the star. Can I do it, Jonathan? Nope. Did I do it? Yes, barely. Barely. Oh, God. Visual activity. Now, I'm good at visual activities, John. And eating. We haven't had one of these in ages. Just barely. Timing. Am I good at the timing, Jonathan? Pairs. away from the screen. Junk. 7,000 monitor. This was a conversion from a Street Fighter cabinet, probably. And it was a very nice, nice game. What a great system. But Jonathan, you got to deliver it. And this video has got to come to an abrupt... Do you remember our Minecraft? Off. An abrupt halt. Ready? Here we go. Hi. Smell nice. Now get out! <laughs>